car. No. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Isabel. How are you today? Um, fine, thank you. Okay. Uh, did you get wet with the rain? Te mojó en la lluvia, Isabel. Hola. Ah, um, sí, algo, pero más de sudor vengo de jugar. Ah, okay. What do you play? Football. Oh, great. Did you win? Sí. All right. Yes, yes. All right. Okay, people. Welcome, everybody. We are going to start a class. I hope everybody is ready now. Yeah, today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Hi, good evening. Good Hi, evening. good evening, Fernando. How are you? Are you fine? Fine. Hi, fine. Hi. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, uh, we're going to continue with these um, simple past topic we are talking about, but this is in order to tell stories, right? For example, I don't know if you as attend events in your company. Do you have events in your company? Uh, do you have trainings? Do you have seminars? Do you have conferences? Do you have any event in your company? Hello, Aida. Oh, good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> I see a lot of people is having trouble, are having trouble. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. events in my company. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. The conference, seminars. Ah, okay. There are events in your company, okay. Uh, seminars, what else? Um, yeah, um, conferences, okay. Mm -hmm. Trainings? Trainings, auditories, okay, <laughs> auditories, auditories, auditories. Mm -hmm. Okay, and do you have meetings in your company? Meetings yes. with different a uh, personnel from different areas. Do you have meetings that kind of meetings? Do you have? And the uh, meetings in the area the. The covers. Okay, where you meet, I mean, the people that attend to those meetings are from your area Quite or from men. different areas? Yeah, no, from the area, uh, the department. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. the, the, from the same department. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, is there any party? Okay any social event in your companies that you attend and the was the party uh-huh <laughs> and the merry christmas okay the christmas party good the, the christmas, christmas celebration all right yeah that's yeah. good mm -hmm. Okay, there is the end of the year celebration too, yes. right? The end of the year yes. celebration. Yes. Um, do you celebrate birthdays in your companies? Yes. Um, uh, see, yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we yes, do. Yes, we do. Yes, okay, we do. great. Okay, so in all these events guys hello fernando hello gabriela hello everybody uh we are talking about the events in companies why because we need 
to learn how to socialize in the event and after the event, okay? Right now we are in the event and then after the event. How to talk about the event, how to socialize in the event, okay? So we are going to start by um, going through the verbs or actions we can have in an event. Okay. A ver, ¿qué acciones o qué um, situaciones podrían presentarse en un evento? Hmm. ¿De qué podríamos hablar en un evento? What can we talk about in an event? Mm -hmm. What can what can we talk? Hey guys, I need you to participate. You are um, kind of distant. Hey, come on. All right. What can we talk about an event? Mm -hmm. Maybe the presentation. Yeah. What else? Decoration. Mm -hmm. What else can we talk about an event? Mm -hmm. The topic, right? It's snacks. Snacks or food, yeah. Mm -hmm. Coffee. <laughs> yeah, the coffee. Mm -hmm. Cap capacitador, the capacitador. Okay, the, uh, let's say trainer, the trainer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the food teacher. The food, exactly. Mm -hmm. The place, right? You mm -hmm. the shirt. Dynamics. 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 Okay, dynamics. The program. You wore t-shirt. E. Awards, awards, the pre premiaciones, premios. Rewards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rewards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The rewards. Mm -hmm. All right. So, there are a lot of things we can talk about the conference, the event, the seminar, the celebration. For example, you can go into someone and tell, right? For example, hey, what nice decorations, right? Or you could say, it's really hot in here, right? Or the air conditioner, it's so low. I think uh, the temperature, right? I feel like chilling here, right? I'm cold, right? So you can talk about the situations. For example, oh, this place is really spacious, right? So you can talk about the things around the event and the um celebration right the elements there you can talk about the people right mm -hmm. you can talk about the people okay um you can talk about the sponsors if there are sponsors right you can talk also about mm, i don't know you can say the weather, the dates, okay? You can talk about anything, right? So how do we do that? How do we talk to someone that we don't know or that, or that we first met, right? Or that we first meet in that mm, event. Okay, this is the topic for today. Today we want to talk about some vocabulary practice um, to relate it to uh, <clears throat> talk about our company, 
for example, in small talk. Okay, in small talk. I sent uh I sent uh a song. Did you hear the song? And then what's up? Ya le dieron play, ya la oyeron, ya la bailaron, ya la cantaron, ya la disfrutaron. <laughs> yeah. Play. Mm -hmm. Play nada más. <laughs> okay, so you played it. All right. Mm -hmm. And what is this song about? Who sings the song? Who sings the song? Who is the singer? Uh huh. Who sings the song? Who is the singer? Hey, people. The singer is Katy Perry. Yeah, Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Yeah, Katy Perry. And it's about a couple, right? It's about a couple. Mm -hmm. And maybe they are having trouble with communication, right? Maybe at the beginning they had a lot to talk, yeah, to talk about. But then they became strangers again, right? So this is the song about they became strangers. So small talk is a short, a very short conversation about trivial or about uh, non-important or really important things uh, that you can share with a stranger in any, any context, okay, uh, in order to create the ambience of communication, okay, and the well-being in a celebration in uh, any place where you are, right? Maybe on the bus, right? Maybe on the bus. A ver, ¿les ha pasado a ustedes que se suben al bus y de repente, bueno, hay gente que por más que uno le hable, no le habla a uno, ¿verdad? va por cucharadas. Pero siempre hay algo de qué hablar, ¿sí? ¿Qué les parece a ustedes? Are you good conversa uh, are you a good conversationalist? Are you a good conversationalist? Yes. Yes, to sure. Okay, Did maybe you? you go on the bus. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y de qué habla uno con la persona que no, no la conozco, nunca la viste, jamás quizás la vaya a volver a ver, right? So, what do I talk to them? The traffic. The traffic, yeah. The traffic. Exactly, the weather. The rain. The rain, <laughs> the weather. Lo caro que está la vida, vea. Yeah, we we'll speak about money, but in those areas, very superficial areas, right? Uh -huh, because there are topics that we don't like much to talk, right? Because they are sensitive topics. So we must be careful with what with what we say to strangers, right? So it's the same thing in English and it's the same culture of human beings, okay? Human beings need to be in getting contact always. Um, so we need to learn how to uh, get in small talk, okay? How to get in small talk. Usually we say, ah, mejor ni le hablo porque Quizás habla inglés, habla y yo solo poquito de inglés sé y ya no sé qué más decir. No, okay? We can talk a lot of things with very limited vocabulary, okay? With very limited vocabulary. Con un vocabulario limitado, aún así, podemos hablar de temas pequeñitos, okay? Small talk, yeah? All right. Y entonces, ¿qué sería lo contrario a small talk? What is the opposite? Uh, 
a long talk, teacher. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. In the conversation we had yesterday, it's a smart talk. Smart. Smart talk. It's kind of deeper, right? It's kind of deeper uh, sharing of ideas about a topic. Uh, maybe small talk is that you just mm, want to talk just a little bit about a topic and you don't want to show that you know or you are an expert. But when you have a smart talk, it means that you can get engaged in the conversation and you have a lot of things to talk. All right. So that's a smart talk. That's a smart talk. Okay. Um, vamos a ver. ¿Sí escucharon la canción? No, to share. No? Sorry. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay, Esther. Very good. Ahorita voy a pasar la lista, ¿sí? En cuanto yo esté pasando la lista, usted puede oír la canción. Solo que cuando eh, diga presente, ¿verdad? no vaya a poner la canción, ¿sí? Para que no salga ahí. Ok. Me pone baja volumen, ¿sí? Are you guys ready? Remember to turn your camera on, and when I call your name, you have to say press. Press in the chat. Okay, Aida, go ahead. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Aida Eugenia Ramirez Chavez, thank you. Alma Yamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Carlos Eduardo Alarcón Galdames. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Damaris Lizette Guevara Herrera. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez de Jacinto. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present teacher. Ok. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cintijo. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Present teacher and driving. All right, now listen to the song. All right, Gabriela yeah. Lizette Hernandez Cruz. Present teacher. Maria Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Okay, Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Okay, Marta Estera Ayala Díaz. Present teacher. Ronaldo Josué Guerrero Hernandez. Rosa Estela Polanco. Present teacher. Ok, Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. Ok. Ok, then. Did you listen to the song? Right? Okay. So, sing just a little piece of it. I love it, it's a stranger. I love it, it's a stranger. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. And what is the problem in the in the song? What is the problem that she's describing? What is the problem there? Sorry, teacher. Repeat, please. What is the problem in the song? Okay, let's go and read the lyrics. Let's read the lyrics. Mm -hmm.
Okay, what is she complaining about? What is she complaining about? De que se queja? Complaining. What is she complaining about? She complained that don't, don't talk, don't talk. Exactly. Uh -huh. Her lover, right? Mm -hmm. Her lover doesn't talk to her anymore. Yeah. Her lover doesn't talk to her anymore. And she said, you used to love me or to know me, right? You used to know me. So it means they talked about a mm, lot of things, I think, right? A lot of things. It's not just about the weather, about your job, whatever you do. Was it well? Yeah, well, thank you. Just it. No, right? So, and they say they became, they went from lovers to from lovers to, uh huh, from lovers to strangers, strangers, strangers. Yes, strangers. Stranger right. is the people you don't know. Is the people you see on the bus, on the street, that you see maybe on the shopping mall or at the shopping mall, at the supermarket. You see a lot of people, right? And maybe you may have a small talk with them, like, good morning, how are you? Good morning, right? Uh, is this yours? Um, nice shopping, right? Or uh, smart shopping, uh, whatever you want to say, like short phrases, right? Short phrases. Imagine a lover not talking to you. Mm -mm -mm. I think that's the complaint of all women, right? <laughs> all women love to talk. Yeah, women love to talk. Do you love to talk, girls? Do you love to talk? Do you love talking? A las mujeres, vamos a ver. Vea que sí nos gusta platicar bastante. Yeah. Y por lo tanto, los hombres tienen que aprender a escuchar bastante. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Demasiado. Oh, no, not much. Not that much. Okay. Imagine. Okay. Hmm. Let's go then just a little bit back and allow me just to introduce officially this class. Okay. I will introduce this class officially. Let me just to get this right. Okay. Remember, we are still in the simple past. Remember, in the simple past tense. So today, in our video conference number eight, we are talking about our companies. Okay, talking about your company. This is a vocabulary practice. We are going to get engaged in small talk. Okay, in small talk. What is that? When to use it? Uh, where does it take place? Okay, so this is our video conference number nine, as I said. And by the way, tell me guys, what date is it today? What day? Today is today eight. is Thursday, September September twenty eighth, twenty twenty three. Very good. Just remember the words. Remember the words. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. September the twenty eighth. Of 2023. Of, yeah. Of 2023. 
Okay. Today is Thursday, September the 28th of set of 2023 okay of 2023 i'm just to change my glasses i'm sorry i feel more comfortable with this ones all right uh we have our feedback and speaking activity we have some vocabulary to study but we, we are most focused today is in telling stories we want to tell stories to know how to talk about our companies or about events of our companies. We will practice a dialogue. We have a reading activity. It's almost the telling stories activity too. And then in the breakout rooms, we are going to have a platform activity in a discussion label. We're going to try to do a summary, okay? Uh, we don't have any Jose in, right? No, this is not from here. Okay, we are going to put this guy away. He was a very good student. He was a very good student. Okay, then we have our session one on one. Okay. Uh -huh. The objective of this class is that the class will be able to engage in small talk using a variety of topics using socializing vocabulary okay using using well it's the same all right mm, gabriela please read the class objective the class will be able to <laughs> In young, engage in small, engage in small talk using a um, way of talking using socialization vocabulary. All right, thank you. Okay, so let's start by doing this review, but at the same time, it's a reading and listening activity, okay, all together. When you attend a conference, a seminar, a um, celebration, whatever, you will tell the story, okay? You will tell the story. And usually you tell a story. So the past tense of the verbs is important to tell stories, okay? Let's look for the past tense verbs up, oh, okay? We have the first one, went, right? Mm -hmm. Next one, look for the past simple verbs. No estamos leyendo Nuevo. ahorita, ahorita estamos New. buscándolos, así abuelo de pájaro, ojo de pájaro. New, New right? Uh -huh. New. Okay. Was. Was, very good. Learned. Learned. Uh -huh. Learned. Learned. Hunting. Hunting is an ing. Learn it again, teacher. Sure. Sorry. Uh, learn. Learn again. Learned. Where is it? Oh, okay. I learned again. Uh huh. Okay. There you go. Okay. Mm hmm. Devil. 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 Create. Created. Create. 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 Sin miedo, ¿verdad? Cuando termina en un sonido de T, hay que hacer TED. Created. Developed. Este es developed. Con T. Developed. Es el voice. Developed. Ajá. Uh -huh. Planning. 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 
Disponible. Plan. Design. Designed. Very good. Increase it. Increase it. Increased. 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 Use it. Used. Mm -hmm. Where is used? We use this new. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We used. Mm -hmm. Are we okay there? Yes. All right. So. Nunca hablamos solo en un tiempo verbal, ¿verdad? Necesitamos una combinación. Así que pongámosle atención a esta lectura. Vamos a ver. Let's listen and read along. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time, and it was a very interesting experience, because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am responsible for hunting for new clients, and I am accountable to the sales department. But I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. After the training, the personnel from tech support created and developed an app. The sales team planned the actions in the app and marketing designed the layout. We used this new platform and the last two months the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company is known for delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure error free. All right. What's the name of the lady who is telling the story? What's the name of the lady? Um Laura, Laura teacher. Okay, you sound just a little bit that one. Okay, uh-huh. Anyone else who wants to say what's the name of the lady who is telling the story? No <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hi. Do you want to listen to that again? Okay, let's play it again. Please, teacher. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the head. Okay, uh huh. What is her name? Lorelai. My name Nora. is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend a training. Liar mom. Again. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to okay. Colombia to Lai attend Gilmore. a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time. Okay, her name is Lorelai Gilmore. Okay, Lorelai Gilmore. I don't know if you have seen that series. Lorelai Gilmore. Gilmore. Uh -huh. Have you seen the series, The Gilmore Girls? Have you seen that series? On Netflix? No, it's not on Netflix. Yeah, it is on Netflix now. It was a Warner series. Warner Bros. Brothers. Okay, what is her name? Her name is Okay. Lord Lie. Lord Lie. Kilmore. Okay, now, what is she responsible for? What is she responsible for? Uh, 
attend a training last year. Sure. Mm -hmm. What is the topic of the training? Yeah, he'll squares. Mm -hmm. No, the topic of the training. What was the training about? Is this in doing remote work? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Efficient remote work, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now tell me again, what is she responsible for? Hunting for new clients. She responsible is for hunting for new clients. Okay, she is responsible for hunting for new clients. Okay, now uh, who is she accountable to? Sales department. Okay, to the sales department. Sales department. Okay, department. Sales department, yes. Mm -hmm. Did she learn something new? Did she learn something new? Collaborate with the marketing department. She learned. She learned to collaborate with the marketing department. Mm -hmm. And and also to coordinate with the purchase department. To coordinate. To coordinate. To coordinate. Mm -hmm. With the purchase department. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. And what happened after the training? The personal front did support, create, create, created. and develop, create, create, and develop an app. Mm -hmm. What did the sales team do? She team planned the, the action, action in the app. The app. Okay. The and market. What did the marketing department do? We use this new platform. Uh, no, they designed the layout of the app, That's right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. How much? How much did the incomes increase? Sixteen percent. Yes, the 16%. Very good. Mm -hmm. And what is her company known for? What is her company known for? The company known for is delivering the products on time mm -hmm. and for taking care of the ensure error free. To ensure, right? To ensure mm -hmm. error free. Mm -hmm. Asegurar, right? Yeah? Que no haya error en el proceso, ¿sí? So, um, what is this, I mean, what does this company do? What does this company do? Mm -hmm. Deliver. Uh huh. Deliver what? The products. Okay, but what does this company do? Mm hmm. Podemos contestar con we, con they, o con it. Y usamos un verbo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 
what does this company do? Sell and deliver products. Okay, they sell products. This is what they do, right? Mm -hmm. We, or if I don't include myself, myself, I say they, or if I just want to say the company, I would say it, it, right? We sell and deliver products. They sell and deliver products. It, ahí ya cambiaría y le pondríamos sells and delivers products, okay? What does this company do? What does this company do? It's, uh, it sell and deliver products. Okay, si decimos it, le agregamos s, ¿verdad? It sells and it delivers, and delivers products. products. I'm sorry, Fernando, again, please, can you repeat that? Okay. They deliver the product. Uh -huh. They sell and deliver products. Oh. All right, oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to listen to you reading, guys. Okay, so. I will play the audio again. I need you to check for the pronunciation of words that you don't, that you are not so sure about, okay? So please pay attention to the pronunciation. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time, and it was a very interesting experience because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am responsible for hunting for new clients, and I am accountable to the sales department. But I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. After the training, the personnel from tech support created and developed an app. The sales team planned the actions in the app and marketing designed the layout. We used this new platform and the last two months the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company is known for delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure error free. Okay, now let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I will say six names and you are going to get to the next um, stop. Okay, the, the period you find out. Okay, van a llegar hasta el punto seis personas de ustedes. Okay, vamos a comenzar con uh, Fernando, el primer párrafo. Yeah, eh, Aida, segundo. Eh, Alma, sigue. Eh, Fernando Noel, sigue. Y Rosa Estela, ¿verdad? Ahí ya somos los seis, ¿sí? No, nos falta uno. Nos falta uno. Vamos a ver, Esther, por favor, el último párrafo. Ok, we may start. Fernando, go ahead. This. Mm, ese es el primero. Yes. As a word. Mm -hmm. Ok. I went to Colón to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time in a was a very interesting experience because I learned now to be more efficient doing remote work. Okay, vamos a ver, Fernando. Respire tranquilo. 
Breathe in, breathe out. Ok, y vamos a leer relajadamente. O sea, no a la siguiente. No, vamos a relajarlo hasta llegar a la siguiente puntuación. ¿ya? Vamos a ver, démosle juntos, Fernando. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time. I knew the headquarters for the first time. Okay, headquarters. Look, headquarters. headquarters. Hmm? For the, for the for the first, first time. time. Mm -hmm. And it was and a it was. very interesting experience. And it was a very interesting experience. 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 Because, because I learned how uh, to be because i learned how to be more efficient um, doing more efficient, remote work more efficient doing remote work okay there you go thank you very much fernando you did it better okay hey. continue please aida right okay hey. I am responsible for hunting for new clients and I am accountable to the sales department but I'm learning to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchase, purchase department. Okay, purchases, purchases. Purchases. Mm -hmm. Purchases. Okay, thank you. Okay, continue, please. Okay. Uh -huh. After the training, the personal from tech support created and developed an app, the sales team planning the action in the app and marketing design the layer. Okay, let's refine just a little bit the pronunciation of the verbs created created developed developed planned planned, planned. Mm -hmm. and planned. this other personal personal yeah now personal yes that's correct thank you okay continue please so it's the next one Voy yo, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Okay. We use this new platform and the last two months. The company increased, increased the incomes in 65%. Okay. Ah, pues ya se nos acabaron y venimos con Fernando, right? Eh, de ahí vuelve a comenzar ustedes, pero ¿qué? Okay? Vale, vamos a ver, Fernando. Our company is now for delivering the product on time and for taking care to ensure error free. Very good pronunciation, Fernando. Okay, uh, continue there in the first paragraph again. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time. And it was a very interesting experience. Experience, experience. Experience. Because, because it, Learn, learning how to be more efficient, doing more work. 
Ok, Esther, yo sé que usted lo puede hacer muy bien, así que respire tranquila y va oración por oración, ok? Vamos a ver, démosle pues. Tranquila, respire, I relajada. Ok, démosle la entonación de una afirmación. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. ¿Cómo? Okay. 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 I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. Yes, continue. I knew. I know the... Sin miedo, sin miedo. No se me detenga porque yo sé que usted sabe. A ver, vamos a ver. I knew the headquarters for the first time. I knew the headquarters for the first time. Yes, ajá, continue. And it was a very interesting... Interesting. Interesting. Experience. Experience. No se detenga cuando usted no sepa cómo va, Experience. usted dígalo. Uh -huh. Va, vale, dígalo desde aquí relajadamente. Because And it was a very interesting experience. Vamos a ver. Este. Lo que se me traba, no sé si es el problema de mi internet. Experience. Because I learned how to be more efficient, efficient, than remote work. Okay, there you are. You finished better. Very good. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Who wants to continue, guys? Who wants to continue? ¿Quién quiere seguir? Vamos a ver. Okay, teacher. Okay, Saul, go ahead, please. I responsible for hitting for new clients and no, I no am hitting. No, no hitting. Hunting. 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 I responsible for hunting for new clients and I accountable to the sales department but I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchase department. Purchases. Uh -huh. purchase, purchase department. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. Who wants to continue? Go ahead, Isabel. Okay. Um... After the drug, the personnel from the teach super creating and and the and developers and act the certain thing planning the action in the act and marketing the six the layoff. Okay, still there. Very the good. Layoff. Ahora vamos a afinar algunas pronunciaciones, ¿ok? Aquí es created, mire, created. Este se llama tech, como con una C nada más, sin la H, ¿verdad? Tech. Tech, uh -huh. tech support, tech support. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, developed, developed. Uh -huh. Planned, planned. 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 Designed. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you very much, Isabel. You did a very good job. Uh, who wants to continue? Yo sé que todos quieren. Yo lo sé, pero ni modo. Vamos a tener que escoger uno solo. Vamos a ver. No se me enojen los demás. Vamos a ver. Por ahí tenemos a Marta Alicia, ¿verdad? Marta Alicia, where are you? Yes, teacher. Okay, from here to the end, okay? Uh, okay, teacher. 
why use it, this new platform and the last two months, uh, the company in crisis, the in cosmos. No sé ahí, teacher. Usted Help. continúe y vamos a ver ahí. La cuestión es que usted no se, me, no se me vaya deteniendo, al contrario, póngale más feeling para que de ahí pasemos. Pero esas dos palabras son increased the incomes. ¿Ok? Increased the incomes. Así como están escritas, mire. Increased the incomes. Vamos a ver okay. usted. Uh, again. Ok, go ahead, please. We use it, this new platform and the last two months, the company increasing the incomes in 65% percent. 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 Uh, Yes, please, until the end. Our company is new for delivering the products on time and for talking card to ensure error free okay only known mire is known for is known for mm -hmm. yeah is known for yes and that's it you see thank you very much marta alicia you did it very good job all right so now guys you are going to tell me the story okay so mm -hmm. watch this and tell me what happened over there, according to the story. You tell me the story. Mm -hmm. Is the travel for Colombia? Ah, como era la historia? Oh, I went to mm -hmm. Colombia training. Okay, there you go. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Stands. Let's. Vaya, vamos a ser justos y les voy a poner el audio, ¿ok? Les voy a poner el audio y después ustedes me van a contar la historia, ¿sí? You are going to tell the story according to the pictures, according to the pictures. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time, and it was a very interesting experience, because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am responsible for hunting for new clients, and I am accountable to the sales department. But I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. After the training, the personnel from tech support created and developed an app. The sales team planned the actions in the app and marketing designed the layout. We used this new platform and the last two months the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company is known for delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure error free. All right. Now, let's go and tell the story. Let's go and tell the story. I will start sharing the audio and we will share the pictures. Okay, let's start.
A ver, cuéntenme la historia, pues. She went to Colombia on December. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces lo hacemos en tercera persona. Muy bien. She went to Colombia in December. Ok. Uh -huh. To a training, she, right? she knew the headquarters. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It was a very Interesting experience. What did she learn? Attend clients. She She learned for efficient to efficiency uh -huh. to efficiency and more. She collaborated for the department the marketing. Uh -huh. She collaborated. Again. She collaborated for the marketing department. Uh, she collaborated. Or collaborated. Collaborator. Collaborate. Collaborated for the marketing department. She is responsible uh, for hunting new clients. Mm -hmm. Teacher, she, I remember she collaborated uh, marketing, marketing department and purchase department. She participate in the elaboration the new app. Um, her company sells and delivers the product on time. Time. She is training. She was training in tech support in Creative in, in esta palabra, develop. Develop, desarrollar, develop, develop. Oh, this was after. And after, mm -hmm, the training 
in text of personal, personal in text of work. Mm -hmm. The personal in text of work in creator and develop. Created and development the new app. Ahí era lo de la app, dicho. Her company. Her company sells on deliver the product on time. They using new platform. Teacher, but in the in the history, don't he say design and develop? Not created. No, I I, I don't remember. It's created. I, design, design. Hmm? What about the incomes? Sixty five for mm -hmm. percent. Mm -hmm. What is the verb? Income. Income. 65%. Increased. Increased. Mm -hmm. And to end. Now let's go to the end of the story. Mm -hmm. What is her company known for? Delivering products. Mm -hmm. And sales for taking care hmm? for taking care and sure and sure it will be my company is known for delivering. <laughs> The products on time okay. and taking care, right? For, for taking care mm -hmm. and ensure we evil free. Yay! We did it! Yay! Okay. Teamwork. Teamwork. All right. So it took it. Well, it took us. Hmm. A little more time than I expected, but it is okay, guys. Very good. Very good. All right. Is there any questions so far about the vocabulary and how to talk about how to talk about an experience, an event, or um a seminar that we went to or we attended to? Questions? 
No questions? Okay. So the just let's remember a little bit the way to ask questions. Okay, the way to ask questions because for doing or for engaging in small talk, we need to ask questions. That's the main point of speaking or communicating or having a conversation. Okay, so let me just do this thing. Teacher, mm -hmm. sorry, uh, how do in English? I'm sorry? Uh, por ciento in percent, English? Percent, percent. Percent. Mm -hmm. Over there in the chat, percent. Percentage. There you go. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, did you get the story, guys? The one that we uh, wrote? Nope. Okay, there you have it on the chat if you want to take it. Okay, here we go. For example, when we ask questions about confirming information about what happened in an event. For example, a meeting, right? Did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Ah, we use did as the auxiliary verb to ask questions and the verb goes in the base form. It doesn't matter what subject takes place, okay? If it is singular or plural, we will use the same structure, deed, okay? Deed and the verb and the base form, okay? Did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Yes, he did. What about if he didn't? Well, no, he didn't, okay? No, he didn't. It, mean, it means he did not, okay? He did not. Okay, let's do another um, question here. Did the HR department print out the vaccination campaign flyers? No, they didn't. Pero a veces suena muy cortante solo decirle no. Así, ¿verdad? No. Entonces, ¿quiénes fueron, verdad? Es como una necesidad de saber, ¿verdad? Communication state. Okay. And then we say what we need to um, inform, right? Or the information they need. Did the HR department print out the vaccination campaign flyers? Yes, they did. Okay, yes, they did. Okay, so let's do the pronunciation of this. Okay, so Fernando, please read the question. Fernando Enrique, no se me haga. No se me vaya uh, por allá. A ver. <laughs> did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Yesterday. 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 Mm -hmm. Ok, pero acuérdense que vamos a hacer entonación de pregunta. Una pregunta directa, la entonación es como racing. Okay, es para arriba, aunque nos digan exagerados, I see to, mira, no, lo vamos a decir bien. Did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Okay, so, every, uh, okay, Fernando, I'm sorry, Fernando, Enrique, go ahead. Okay, did the manager attend this meeting yesterday? Yes, there you go, nice. Okay, Alma, please read the question. <laughs> Yes, he did. Okay, the, read the question. Mm, okay. 
Did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Great. Rosa Estela, please. Yes, he, he did. No, no, no. Ah, question. the question. Yes. Oh, did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Great. Uh, Marta Alicia, please. Read the question. Marta Alicia, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Marta Sorry, Alicia. Okay, there you are. Mm -hmm. Read the question, please. Did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Great. Isabel, please. Did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Yesterday? Okay, yesterday? Yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yes, Isabel. Great. Esther? Did the, did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Great. Fernando Noel, please. Did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Great. Great pronunciation today, Fernando. Yes, you did it. Aida, please. Okay. Did the HR department print all the vaccination camping flyers? Yes, there you go. Okay, so let's refine this pronunciation, Aida, okay? Eh, quizás así muy tensa lo leyó. A ver, más relajada para que lea cabalita cada palabra, ¿ok? D de HR, ¿ok? Y como aquí es H, va con una vocal, aquí es D, ¿ok? D, 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 H, R, D, 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 H, R, es que aquí me dijo D. R. Uh -huh. ah. Okay, I guess R. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, again. Did the H R department print? Department? Department? Did the H R department print all the vaccination campaign flyers? Vaccine. Vaccination? Vaccination. Mm -hmm. Campaign. 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 Flyers. 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 There you did, go. Mm -hmm. it, Again. Yes. Go ahead, please. Did the HR department print of the back, vaccination campaign? Vaccination campaign flyers. Yes. There you go. Okay. Let's listen to. Want to see Gabriela? Miss Gabriela, are you there? Did the HR department print all the vaccination payment flyers? Very good. Damaris, please. Did, did the HR department print all the vaccination company flyers? Campaign. Campaign. The campaign. Campaign. Um, campaign flyers. All right, very good, very good. Okay, people, so now let's go to the manual. In the manual, we have some things to consider about a small talk, all right? Yes. Tell me. Uh, vaccination and vaccination. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, okay. teacher. There you go. Okay, people, about the regular verbs, we have the ED ending, remember? So let's complete these exercises in the manner to finish the topic of the, uh, the verbs, okay? So the verbs in the, in the past simple tense. Let's go and turn to page 24. Turn to page 24 and your manuals. Over there, we have a list of uh, questions we can ask to get information about an event or a celebration that somebody else uh, went to. So, 
it says that we need to complete the questions, okay? Let's complete the questions first, all right? Let's look at the first one, okay? It says, did you attend to a seminar last month? Okay, let's look at the second one. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué vamos a preguntar con enjoy? Mm, disfrutaste, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos que pasarlo a tiempo pasado. Vamos a ver. ¿Cómo sería ahí? Ponemos el auxiliar. Mm, maybe we're going to use this. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> sure. No, no. Because when you use did, you don't... Uh, ah, okay. Uh, you yeah, use the base for. for base. Mm -hmm. did, mm -hmm. did you enjoy the seminar? Exactly. Did you enjoy the seminar? Okay. About meet. Meet new people. Mm -hmm. How do you ask about that? Mm hmm Did you meet? Mm -hmm. Did you meet new people? Yes. Did you meet new people? All right. Did Number four. That's good. Did you learn Did you something? Did you learn something? Did you learn something? Did you network in the con convention? Yes. Did you network. Did, Did you exchange business cards? Okay. Did you exchange business cards? Okay. Imaginemos, sí. Imaginemos que fuimos a un seminario, sí, porque probablemente no hemos ido últimamente, ¿verdad? Quizás no fue el mes pasado y nuestra respuesta va a ser no, I didn't, y se nos acaban todas las demás. ¿Ok? Entonces, vamos a imaginar que usted fue al seminario. ¿Ok? Entonces, la primera la podemos contestar negativa, afirmativa, no importa, pero de la dos en adelante vamos a imaginar que sí. ¿Ok? Did you attend to a seminar last month? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. Y en la realidad... Did you attend a seminar last month? ¿Y en la realidad de ustedes? No, I didn't. Okay. What about you, Aida? Did you attend a seminar last month? Yes. Yes, I did. No, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, Alma, no, I didn't. Okay. Esther, did you attend a seminar last month? Yes, I did. Okay, Gabriela, did you attend a seminar last month? No, I didn't. Okay, what about you, Damaris? No, I didn't. Okay. All right. Now, let's imagine that we went to a seminar, okay? So, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, next. A ver, Saul, pregúntemele a Aida, número tres, number three. Okay, teacher. Aida, did you meet any new people? Mm, no, I didn't. Okay. Aida, pregúnteme a Isabel, number four. Isabel, did you did you learn something? Or something? Did you learn something? Isabel? Isabel? Um, mm, no, I don't. No, I? 
I don't. El yeah. auxiliar que estamos usando es el pasado. Mire, did. Entonces, si la respuesta es no, decimos didn't. Mire, no, I didn't. didn't. ¿Ah? En tiempo presente decimos don't. Pero ya en el pasado, algo que sucedió antes, decimos no, I didn't. Okay. Si quiere, si quiere hacer una respuesta más larga, lo puede hacer. Claro que sí. A eso vamos después. Ya para poner una oración después de esta, aclarando, verdad, nuestra respuesta. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, Did you learn something? No, I didn't. Yo le voy a preguntar, How come? It was a seminar, right? So maybe you learned something. Y ahí usted puede decir, I knew. ¿Qué sé yo? I knew about um, the topic. Ok, I do learn a lot. Ok, también puede decir así, uh -huh. si fuera positiva, ¿verdad? Yes, I did. Period. I learned a lot. Ok, I learned a lot. Yes. Uh -huh. Ok, vamos a ver, Isabel. Please, pregúntemele a Marta Esther, number five. Okay, Marta Esther. Um, did you network in the convention? Marta. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. And number six. Marta Esther, please ask. Marta Alicia. ¿A quién, teacher? Marta Alicia, please. Ok, Marta Alicia, did you ex exchange? Exchange. Exchange. Did you exchange business cards? Car Card? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Y eso es lo que estábamos hablando con Alma, ¿verdad? Me pregunta ella, ¿podemos dar una respuesta larga? Claro que sí. Igual como hacemos con el tiempo presente, ¿verdad? Porque aquí se queda como cortante y ya no, o sea, después de eso nos van a seguir haciendo preguntas, ¿verdad? Entonces es mejor ser amable y decir lo que continúa y normalmente en una conversación entre gente que conocemos va a ser así siempre decimos hasta la última cosa y fíjate vos que no es que hubiera visto no ah viera chéverísimo tú no hubiera visto que dieron café con pan nada más pero mira ese café estaba delicioso y empieza uno verdad a decir cualquier detalle a contar los detalles. Entonces, did you attend, attend uh, I'm sorry, did you attend a seminar last month? Yes, I did. Aquí puedo yo poner de qué se trató, por ejemplo. ¿Sí? I went to, oh, puede, puede ser, sí, I went to a, a seminar about, y puedo decir el tema, ¿verdad? About a, accounting in the new century okay this is inventing okay this is just inventing and making this up okay got it acordémonos que vamos a hablar en tiempo pasado verdad entonces usamos el verbo en tiempo pasado sí para las afirmativas, cambia la forma del verbo, ¿verdad? Para las negativas, ponemos, por ejemplo, no, I didn't. Por ejemplo, acá, I didn't uh, meet anyone else. Anyone else? They attended on my team. Ah, uh, bueno, pongámosle completo. Only my team attended. Only my team attended. Ok. There you go. Entonces, el verbo 
Cuando es negativo, lo vamos a mantener en forma base con el auxiliar y negativo. En afirmativo, sí, vamos a usar la forma de el, eh, de el verbo que corresponde en el tiempo pasado, ¿verdad? ¿Estamos bien ahí? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Sí, yo quiero decir de la charla, por ejemplo, ahora yo tuve una charla, porque es lo mismo que decir este small talk. Eh, una charla con alguien, no. sí, un small talk. No, eh, fue, un ejemplo, fue una charla de impartida por el Seguro Social. Ah, no, no, esa no es small talk. Uh, small talk, ese sí es un speech, ¿verdad? Es, es, es un, puede ser una chatting, chatting, así, chatting, okay. uh, chatting, uh, chatting, uh -huh. an exposition, a uh, conversatory, okay. So things like that. In the informatic position is hidden correct. Informatic talk? In what sense? Who say charlas informativas? Ah, informative. 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 Yeah, because informatic, I I, I hear and sorry, yes. uh -huh. informatic <laughs> yeah. in the sense of yeah, informative, right? Informative. Hey guys, we have a little noise over there. Well, actually, it's a lot of noise. Okay, there you go. Are we okay so far? Okay, it's 9.33. It's 9.33. So, vamos a ver este vocabulario, ¿sí? Este vocabulario que tenemos en el manual acerca de qué temas ustedes creen que son apropiados y qué temas no son apropiados para tener una conversación con personas, por ejemplo, visitantes a la compañía, clientes o qué sé yo, eh, compañeros de trabajo, pero que imagínense somos de diferentes áreas o de diferentes sucursales y nos llevan a un evento grande para capacitarnos a todos al mismo tiempo o un evento entre diferentes compañías. ¿Qué, qué, qué temas creen ustedes? que son apropiados y cuáles no. So let's look at this uh, vocabulary. What topics do you think are appropriate? And which topics do you think they aren't? Okay, so let's look at these. Mm -hmm. In order to do that, we are going to choose three good topics for a small talk and three you consider inappropriate. Okay, inappropriate. And let's look. Location. Location. For example, is your company near the trade center? Is your company near the trade center? Do you think is that appropriate? Okay. okay. Let's read the other one. Okay. Let's read the other one. Company. About the company. Or about the job. For example, what are some of your responsibilities at Rex Incorporated? Politics, for example, these politicians are a disaster. What do you think? Mm, a common event, for example, are you enjoying the seminar? Travel, for example, does your job require a lot of travel? About money, are you making good money in your job? Mm, okay. About your boss, I work for a tyrant. What about you? <laughs> He's a bad boss. Imagine the last time he didn't allow me or he didn't grant it a permission right, uh, for living early and I was very ill. Uh, no, we don't talk about that, right? Likes, for example, do you enjoy outdoors, outdoors activity? Yeah. Okay, vamos a ir a discutir esto. ¿sí? Vamos a ir a discutir esto al breakout room. Pero quiero que al mismo tiempo Vayamos y veamos un video. No voy a entrar hasta que hayan visto el video. Entonces, primeritito, vean el video. Solo dura tres minutos y algo. 
Van a ver ese video y van a hacer un listado. Van a la plataforma, donde está ahí la plataforma, sí. Ahí está posteado la actividad de Small Talk. ¿Ya llegaron? Are you there yet? Acá la tenemos. Miren, small talk. Ahí ustedes le dan clic al link y dice la instrucción. Watch the video and list the questions and ideas to share in small talk. De acuerdo a lo que el video dice. ¿sí? De acuerdo a lo que el video dice. Ahora, <clears throat> ustedes van a discutir con sus compañeros qué temas son apropiados, qué es una small talk, eh, cuándo y dónde puede suceder eso, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué es importante un small talk? ¿Ok? Van a ir a platicar sobre eso. Así que nos vamos a dedicar a esa parte, tomémonos eh, las cosas en serio, por favor, y vamos, una cosa tras otra, no se detengan, ¿verdad? Vamos, ¿sí se comprendió lo que vamos a hacer? The first is the see the video and answer the question, the form, and second is uh, discussion of the work, core, uh, classmate, and is what is the three, I, I don't remember, that's called, like, appropriate topics. Appropriate and yeah. inappropriate yeah. topics. Okay. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Sí se comprende, jóvenes? Bueno. No, teacher. Eh, ¿Qué no comprendió? A ver, ¿la plataforma? Yes. Ok, en la plataforma usted va a ir a ver el video. ¿Ok? Va a sacar la lista de las preguntas que hay en el video y las va a escribir ahí en la plataforma. ¿Vamos bien? Yes. Ok, you have to discuss, usted tiene que discutir con sus compañeros la otra parte. ¿Cuál es la otra parte? ¿Cuál es la El otra manual. parte? El manual. Ok, el manual, los tres temas que son apropiados. Ok, hoy sí, Marta Alicia. Más o menos, Ok, más o menos significa, dígame lo que ha entendido. Lo que pasa es que me cuesta meterme a eso de la plataforma ahorita que estoy en, en, la, en Zoom. Pero sus compañeros probablemente puedan entrar y van a ir compartir el video con usted, ¿verdad? Sí, okay. Ajá, dígame usted. Eh, yo ya entré acá en la plataforma, pero las preguntas en el video están las preguntas. Exactly, you have to look at the video, you have to watch ah. the video. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. This advanced it is in video video okay where are you carlo so oh, okay aquí está
el correo en la computadora, lo puede ver desde ahí también. Okay. Eh, este, ese es el enlace para que pueda ingresar. Ya vi y ya entró usted. Ahorita ya lo encontré, solo que no sé si lo voy a poder compartir. Ahorita que ya lo envió la teacher al, al grupo, sí. People report liking it more than they expected, just like any other. have been rated as more questions like what do you do can be
Even though you may think chatting to strangers is unpleasant, people report liking it more. Okay, submit the questions you heard on the video. Take it easy, teacher. <laughs> The more time, teacher. ¿Sabes qué es lo que pasa? Es que <clears throat> tal vez eh, um, no quiero usar uh, palabras que puedan, eh, digamos, vaya. miren, enfoquémonos, ¿sí? Enfoquémonos. Este es un proceso de aprendizaje, ¿verdad? En donde hay una guía que seguir, ¿verdad? Entonces, la guía que ustedes tenían que seguir era seguir la instrucción A, ver el video, video, pero ¿qué es lo que iban a agarrar? Las preguntas, ¿las agarraron? Question. Sí. Ok, eso es lo que iban a agarrar, las preguntas y escribirlas en la plataforma y darle submit, ¿sí? Va, esa es una de las cosas en la instrucción. La siguiente, seguir siempre la instrucción. Los tres temas, ¿discutieron los tres temas? Sí, yes, teacher. Okay. It's more fashion, but I see. No, no es ganas de molestar ni, ni maldad, sino que vamos, no podemos, eh, sinceramente, entender cuatro minutos completos de vocabulario que no conocen, por eso vamos guiados a lo que conocen, ¿sí? Hablamos, hablábamos de small talk. ¿Qué es small talk? Eh, ¿Para qué sirve? ¿Cuándo? No dice para qué sirve. Eh, ¿Cuándo y dónde? 
se usa una small talk y por qué es importante. Va, esas son las cosas que íbamos a ver nada más, ¿verdad? No hay que complicarse la vida. Esta teacher nos pone un video que ni entendemos y el montón de vocabulario. No. no, no teacher, no. but don't scold you. <ríe> no. Lo que pasa es que eh, yo lo que quiero es que eh, no lo pongan como, ay, no nos quedó tiempo. No, no, no. Sí, el tiempo estaba para las instrucciones que había. Nada más, ¿verdad? Ya después, si ustedes quieren ver el video, pues véanlo completo, le dan revés y derecho. No hay problema, pero la instrucción... Creo que es clara, ¿verdad? Es para que podamos ir avanzando y nos pongamos de acuerdo que vamos a seguir las instrucciones, ¿sí? Por favor, para que aparte no se frustren, ¿verdad? Para que aparte no se frustren. Después van a decir, como les repito, es, ay, es que esta teacher solo cosas que nada que ver y que... Ah, no, no, había una instrucción que seguir y eso era lo que había que hacer, nada más. Okay. Y nos regañan, nos da poco tiempo. Ajá. <risa> <risa> Pero miren, yo lo hago con mucho cariño, ¿verdad? <risa> Hasta con tamalitos pisques con crema, vea Entonces, no. <risa> Bien, va. My parent, he said that... Uh... <clears throat> How do you say demostrar, teacher, in English? Uh, show, demonstrate. My parent, he says, what? Shows. What is the shows in a... <laughs> que así demostraban cariño, regañándonos. <laughs> ah, that's the way to show my care. Way. Show that I care. Okay. Okay, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I show that I care about you. Okay, guys. Mm, bien, entonces les queda... Poner la listita de todas las preguntas que podemos hacer en un small talk. En vez de decir, what do you do, dice, ¿qué hay que decir? What do you do for, for fun? For, for fun, for fun. Yes. for fun. Exactly. What do you do for fun? O en otros sentidos, ¿verdad? También. Eh, what do you do for a living? También, porque puede ser que no solo viva del trabajo, sino que también tiene otra actividad que venda, qué sé yo, dulcitos, bisutería, lo que sea, ¿verdad? So, what do you do for a living? Eh, pueden preguntar, híjole, un montón de cosas que no necesariamente tengan que ver con mis responsabilidades del trabajo y que me hagan saber o sentir que ahora en vez de ser un extraño, en la plática que yo tengo, aunque sea un extraño, se siente como entre conocidos. Right? But, vamos a ver, eh, nada más, nada más, nos vamos ya. Ah, ¿qué era lo que iba a hacer? Ah, me, me dan el submit en la plataforma, por favor, me ponen esas preguntas. Y voy a llamar la lista súper rapidísimo, por favor, digan presente. Teacher, I have a question. Me. Uh, the post in the platform is individual or for of the group? No, individual, individual. Todos tienen que manejar esas preguntas, ¿sí? Porque les va a servir ah, para okay. la vida, ¿ok? Ahí okay, de Eugenia teacher. Ramírez Chávez. Alma y Hernández de Vázquez, dígame. Ahí. Here, teacher. Um, uh, Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Carlos Eduardo Alarcón Galdames, Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano, Damaris Lizette Guevara Herrera, Evelyn Yajaira Martínez de Jacinto, Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín, Fernando Noel Mauricio Cíntigo, Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano, Gabriela Lizette Hernández Cruz, María Isabel Rivas Guevara, Present teacher. Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Marta Estera Ayala Díaz. Present teacher. Ronaldo José Guerrero Hernández. Rosa Estela Polanco. Present teacher. Paul Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher, sorry. Franny Magalia Maya Reyes. Ok, there we go. Bien, eh, nos quedamos hasta acá. Van y hacen su... Eh, tarea, me, me, me dan submit a lo de las preguntas y quedamos hasta ahí. La sesión 1 a 1 está disponible el día de hoy para el número 8, ¿verdad? No, 9. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cíntigo se quedó ayer, ahora le quedaría para Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. ¿Freddy quiere quedarse el día de hoy?
se fue. No, ahí está. Hello, teacher. Ajá. Um, I'm driving todavía. Ah, ok. Bueno, yeah. ni modo. Mm, Vamos a tener lejos, que pero... repartir las pupusitas de ayote de hoy. Bueno, no importa. Okay. Estoy lejos de casa. Bueno, vamos a ver entonces, ¿se quiere quedar Gabriela? No, teacher. No, bye. No quedo yo, teacher. Bueno, ahí estamos. Bye, bye, everybody. Have a very good night. Do and submit your homework. Bye, bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Teacher, bye, I have bye. a question. Teacher. Tell me, Saul. Tell me, tell me. The media, the media, hoy, the, the, ex, the exams. Yes, the exam has to be for tomorrow, Midi, right? Midi, okay. The immediately is no uh, midterm, midterm, midterm test. Midterm mm -hmm. test. Uh, he finished the el lunes tiene que estar or porque I know, no Friday because it's, we it's come Friday. from Monday to Friday. Friday. Yes. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. teacher. Thanks, teacher. Okay, there you go. Hey, teacher. See you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, bye, Marta Alicia. Bye, Fernando Enrique. Okay, Isabel. Here we are. Isabel. Hola. Hi. Uh, Hello. Okay. Uh, quiero que me ayude um, en las tareas. Ok. No he mm -hmm. podido resolver ahorita. Ahorita me estoy metiendo. Mm -hmm. eh, ya le digo. Mm -hmm. En la tarea 7. Ahí lo que hay que hacer. Ahí lo que hay que hacer es hacer la pregunta. Acuérdese de la estructura que dijimos, ¿verdad? Después de la WH, de la palabra de WH, va el auxiliar. ¿Sí? Después del auxiliar va el sujeto y después del sujeto va el verbo y después el complemento, ¿sí? Entonces, eh, ¿lo puede compartir usted, Isabel? Para que lo vayamos haciendo en el suyo ya de una vez. No, no puedo. No puede compartir. Estoy en el celular, no sé cómo se ah, Compartir, okay. dice sí, permítame. Ajá, cabal, donde dice compartir pantalla. Compartir pantalla. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué le apareció cuando le dio compartir? Ah, me mandó para aparecer encima, me dice. Vale, póngale que sí. Ya sale, no. No. Ahorita. Compartir pantalla o pizarra. No, pantalla. No, eh, pantalla. Uh -huh. okay. Ahora sí. No, todavía no aparece. No aparece, pero si quiere lo vamos haciendo. Ah, ahí viene, ya, ya, ya. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí estoy. Bye. Ahora, okay. eso. Ahora la ventana, ¿verdad? Okay. Ahí está ya. Exactly. Uh -huh. Entonces, usted le tiene que poner la WH primero, ¿verdad? Que sería what. ¿Cuál? Ajá. Ah, y el y la pongo minúscula como está ahí o mayúscula como se empieza. No, póngalo con mayúscula así como empezamos. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. Y le va a poner el auxiliar, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar para this machine? This machine Do. es it. No, si, si es it, es das. 
What does Así. Uh -huh. Le falta la E y la S. No, don't, no. Does. Does. Ahí la tenía en medio. Ay, ay, ay. Regrese, póngale la O. La E. Dos. Uh, ahí la tiene en medio. Ay, ya. Yeah. No, no, ahí le puso doesn't. Ahí tiene que ser does no, en, en afirmativo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Does. Se dice okay. does. What does, does this machine do? Así. Uh -huh. Y el Ahora de interrogación. Y el punto. No, solo el signo. Vale. Uh -huh. ah. Veamos ahí. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería el auxiliar para she? Le falta el auxiliar. Después de who. Así como me lo pone ahí, no. No, no. No, eso es lo que usted había escrito antes. Ah, okay. Entonces, no. Ahí tiene que poner el auxiliar. Sería... El auxiliar para she? What? Uh -huh. Who? Who does también. Exactly. Who does she? Ah, pensé que era como en los anteriores, que no se le tenía que agregar nada más que solo lo que está ahí y ordenar las palabras. Ah, es que en este caso en la instrucción dice, dice, no te olvides de los auxiliares. Ah, uh -huh. what does she meet on Saturday? Exactly, who does she meet on Saturdays? Uh -huh. Y el signo. Exacto. Uh -huh. Question mark. Home does. Vale, aquí en este caso es una frase completa. Mire, how many people va junto. ¿sí? How many people. Many es con A. Ah, oh, sí. Does she? Exactly. Uh, supervise. Yes, supervise. Mm -hmm. Supervise. How much does? Exactly. How much does this cost? El signo, el signo, el signo. Así, ¿verdad? Ajá. Solo que ah, le dejo espacio, sí, sí. tal vez no se lo vaya a ver. Um, where, where you does. Eh, no, where do you, ¿verdad? Porque where para do you? you es do. Do you, así. Uh -huh. Le quito el punto. You? Sí, quítele el punto y le falta, porque mire los lunch. que van juntos, it's lunch. It's lunch. Uh -huh. it's lunch. Yeah. Así. Yes, that's correct. Yay, we did it, yes. Hoy sí me saqué 10. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. La que más creo que exista. Ok. Ya solo le faltaría el examen intermedio, ¿verdad? Creo que ya lo hice. Ya lo hizo. Vamos a revisarlo, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. There you are. Acá, eso nada más me falta. Ah, ok. Ajá. Vaya, ese es el... Ahí está. If you are a leader, you show... ¿Cuál es el valor de liderazgo en inglés? Responsabilidad. No, no, no. Leader, leader. Ajá. Leadership. Ahí tiene que escribir leadership. Sí. Sí, pero unido, unido. Unido. Sí. Leadership. Así. Yeah, with the letter I. No, no, le falta la I y la P. Ahí me puso show. Ahí no dice leadership. Ajá, una I y una P le falta. Así. Así. Uh -huh. Ahí dice leadership. En Spanish. Liderazgo. L li liderazgo. Uh -huh. Ok. Veamos qué dice arriba. If you are loyal, you show. Mm. Dice lo mismo. ¿Cuál es no. la responsabilidad? No, no, no. Ahí no habla de responsabilidades. Esos son valores. Values. Ah. Ajá. Entonces dice, if you are loyal, you show, y tiene que poner ahí el nombre del valor, ¿verdad? Del valor. Loyal. De un, loyalty, ¿verdad? Loyalty. Junto también. Sí, y con Así. A, con A. ¿Es una A? No, 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 no. A ver, borre hasta la E. Ahí va a poner Así. en vez de esa E, una A. Borre la E y ponga, ponga una A. A, ah, loyal. Uh -huh. Sí. Eso. Con Y, sin la H y sin la I. Es una Y. Así. Ahí está. Uh -huh. Loyalty. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Ah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes, there we are. Estaba con eso porque jueves me gusta hacer todo esto. Sí, gracias que se pone a hacerlo temprano porque si no, imagínense, se le... Ahí a esas ya las va a poder contestar nuevamente, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. Solo son tres. Acuérdense que hay que ponerle el auxiliar. Mira. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Y con la actividad de hoy, usted tiene que escribir ahí en, el, en la discusión, ¿verdad? Las preguntas que salen en el video que son útiles para una eh, plática introductoria con algún extraño, ¿verdad? Un small talk. Eso es acá en el foro. Exacto. Uh -huh. Ahí en el foro. Uh -huh. Ahí abajo donde dice todas. Ahí donde Entonces dice todas. Todas. No, no, ahí no. Ahí Acá. está. Eso. Uh -huh. Ahí donde dice small talk. Small talk. Creo que ya lo hice. Ah, no. <risa> Ajá. Ahí es donde uh -huh. está. Es lo, lo que hicimos ahora, ¿verdad? Usted tiene que poner las preguntas y es. Las que sacamos del video. Exacto. Uh -huh. Ok, solo las pego entonces porque ya las tengo. Vaya, ajá, cabal. Con lo otro voy bien, ¿verdad? Sí, con lo demás vamos bien. Uh -huh. Uh 
Bueno, teacher, sí, la dejo descansar. Ok, Isabel, ha sido un gusto. It's my pleasure, ok. Have a very good night. A very good rest. Que descanse bien, ok. Gracias, igual. Ok, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.